Now to a special interview with Josh Cavallo, who last year became the only openly gay professional in top flight men's football. Reflecting on his own journey to Sky Sports News, the Australian confirmed he would play in the Qatar World Cup if selected, despite homosexuality being illegal in the country. Concerns are growing that Qatar is not doing enough to ensure the safety of LGBTQ plus fans, and Cavallo admitted his life would be in danger if he played in the tournament. Josh, nine months now since you came out. How do you reflect on that decision and the way that the world has reacted to it? Yeah, look, it's been honestly incredible to see the way the world ha reacted and basically gave me a big hug was was amazing and I didn't realize the impact that my story would have over millions and millions of people around the world. Yeah, it's just something that uh, I'm very happy and proud of myself that I did and I can help these people better and, and you know, evolve, evolve the game for the better. It didn't matter for me whether it was successful or unsuccessful, it was a matter of the story and the timing and, and what it was for me, it was for my personal reasons. It was, it was greater than football, but I'm honoured that you know it reflected in the way it did, and everyone uh, had a good reaction with it. Has there been one celebrity that's made you take a step back and think this is incredible? Well, look, obviously the messages from like the, the football stars, your icons, like that Ibrahimovic and, and you know Griezmann and Lingard, all these people that have won World Cups. And you know, I, when I was younger, I woke up to. To, to watch them play early in the morning and stuff like that. So it's really nice to see these straight athletes reaching out and saying, hey, Josh, it's okay. Because the whole point of my story was to come out and to show, you know, if we see two guys or two girls in the street walking, holding hands, we don't say anything. So why are we saying something in football? Do you feel as though we will see a, a, a player that comes out as gay in the Premier League? Look, it's just a matter of time and a matter of comfortableness. So the world. The way the world reacted with me, people are seeing this. This is why it's so important, not just for myself, but it's important for that Jake. It's important for those people that, that are struggling, you know, and it shows that it is OK and that it is welcome. So it's only going to get better now, and I think it's a matter of time before that happens. The World Cup is only a, a few months away in Qatar. If you were picked, would you go to the World Cup? I'll definitely go to the World Cup, yeah. But the thing is for me, I, I want to show that it's okay for everyone. It's not just okay for Josh Cavallo because he's a footballer and he'll be protected. I want it to be okay for that everyday person that's in there, that's in Qatar, that finds himself, you know, they can't do that. That's the, that's the reason through my story why I want to change and make the world for the better in that way as well. Yeah, it does concern me because it's like even with the World Cup, you know, if I'm... If I represent Australia at the World Cup, and I'm pushing for that, and if I get, uh, you know, it would be an honour to go to the World Cup, but at the same time, you know, it's, it's the laws that clash, and it's something that, do I want to do something really good in my career, and that's my dream. I've always dreamed to play for my, my country at the World Cup at the highest level, or my life to be in danger. So it's a bit difficult and, and a bit sad, and it's hard, to, it's hard to pick which one you want to do.